hi friends so in my last article we have we have seen a horizontal partitioning of a table where we had, where we had uh, divided rows uh, or the record sets uh, for a very large table uh, which was of an insurance and banking hypothetical claims table uh, into various file groups uh, primary and then secondary ones and then we uh, we can use those file groups in, in a read only format for reporting purposes also just for archival purpose so that was a, a, a blog on horizontal partitioning what I have here for you in this blog is about vertical partitioning or dividing a table uh, in in the form of columns or the attributes so what we uh, what we would be seeing here is splitting a table so vertical partitioning is is basically where we try to uh, move the columns of uh, one table and split it into another table say a, a table has eight or ten columns and, and then we move uh, five of them uh, to a different table so the advantages again that we gain is uh, in the in, in terms of the SQL Server read time and, and also the scan time. The ideal scenario is where we use binary large objects. Say we are trying to store a document, a PDF file, or, or, or uh, an image into a table. These these will uh, qualify for the binary large objects, uh, and then then when we store them into a column of a table, uh, they are uh, going to consume or occupy a large amount of space uh, and then when we try to create an index on the table the scan time and the read time is, is going to uh, increase when the size of the table increases so going uh, let's start to look at what is vertical partitioning for vertical partitioning what we uh, there are there are two ways uh, in a standard database uh, model what we have is uh, the first one would be as would be our normalization. So first one for us would be normal normalization, where we try to normalize or, or remove the redundant data of a particular table into another uh, table uh, and, and then link them up with uh, a key. That's how uh, that's how we split a table. So that is again a form of a vertical partition. Uh, we could we could call a normalized table to be vertical uh, vertical partition so that's one way of doing it the second is splitting up the the columns or the attributes uh, so we call that row splitting or we can call it record splitting so record splitting would be when we try to split up a table uh, into uh, multiple tables based upon a particular key which is unique across the table for example if i have an employee table which also keeps uh, a blob column uh, which is binary large object column that is the employee pictures uh, or the images of the employee and then the employee ID is a unique uh, primary clustered key on that particular table I can split the table basing the employee ID uh, and, and keep or, or archive the images of the employee in a different table so that's what we are going to see here in this uh, blog so what I do is first of all let me create a new database uh, and call it and call it vertical partition so I have created that now once I am done I'm going to again create two uh, file groups as, as we had seen in SQL uh, in, in our horizontal partitioning so we are going to uh, create two file groups of non blob and blob data names so that's what we're going to do we are going to create two file groups currently what we have for this uh, current database is if we look at we'll have a primary file group and then we will have uh, the log file groups so if you look at we have a primary file group so the files that we have is nothing but uh, the partition vertical partition dot mdf files and the log file that's all we have so these are these are the two files that we have now let's try to create so I've created two additional file groups now if I go and check for the files I find there are two new file groups there are these are the secondary file groups which have been created and their names are 
blob data and non blob data dot ndf so these are the secondary files that I have created now so once I'm done now we can move ahead with our example so what I have here is I'm going to show you the employee uh, demonstration whatever I have here is I'm going to create the employee detail table which will which will host the employee ID name department and salary the employee ID is going to be the primary key across and uh, this will be hosted on the file group of the name non blob so that's all I'm going to do so I have created a new table next table is employee image now employee image is going to uh, store the employee employees image and then it's going uh, and it is going to link across the employee details table basing the employee ID so that is going to be the foreign key uh, for the table and we are going to store this on the blob data file group so that, that's what we are, we are going to do we are going to store the blob data or the image into a different file file group so this is an intelligent way of doing it because uh, you are not uh, because the scans and the indexes are not going to happen on the same file group and only when you try to retrieve the image of the employee is when this file group will be hit so and also the maintenance or, or the backups would be a better and if more efficient so because uh, employees images and the, I mean the rest of the details might be updated but images something which with my which, which uh, might not be that frequent uh, in terms of the update so uh, we have created the EMP image table next what we do is we go ahead and insert few records for the employee details table so we have inserted five records and then in the employee image table I have put together five hypothetical uh, employee images and we are going to insert these into our table so so we are going to use open row set queries and let's try to insert each of them right so we have inserted so now, now what we have here is if we try to see our table looks something like this so we have these two tables and they can be joined upon based upon the employee ID key for us so this since this is the, this is the image this is a where binary type image that we have stored for each of the employees now what we do what you can do is actually to uh, for retrieving the data or for read purpose we can go ahead and create a view a view which is which is uh, of the um, uh, name EMP and it's going to be joined on the basis of the employee ID so that's what now what what we if we select we get the employee complete details with the employee image with the help of this view now let's look at the background what we have here so if we if we go ahead and and, and try to look at our partitions and we will we'll see where each of them are hosted so what we look at here is employee detail as being hosted in a different partition than the employee image so so and if you want if you want to know the details where it has been hosted of in terms of the file groups we fire again this query and, and we get the employee details is being hosted on the non blob file group and the employee image is being hosted at uh, blob data so and uh, so this way we are going to segregate our, our, or split our table or partition our table vertically and then issue or, or, or insert update and delete uh, and, and, and retrieve data to and from this table now if what I have what if I have to ins insert or, or uh, query let me just try to show you quickly querying out a particular image we are going to use our view for the employee ID 1 and we are going to create or, or pull out the employees pick uh, or the image with the name and rename it with uh, for, for employee ID 1 so this is what we are going to do we are going to create so currently we have these five 
employees now let's try to pull out the image for employee one right so if we see here we have pulled out the image um, for employee ID one so that's uh, and that's through the view so that's uh, a way now what you know what I want to show you this was a typical example of vertical uh, partitioning uh, where we have joined it uh, across through a key now if there is another way if we're, that is in the same table if I have a blob column uh, I could simply create in when when I'm trying to define the table let me just drop this view first and in the definition of this table employee I can simply segregate and say that store the column image uh, EMP image which is of the blob type on to the blob data file group what I mean here is these four columns are going to exist on the non blob file groups and the blob data file group will host the image uh, files of all the employees and it will segregate so so this is how we are going to do that in, 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 in one go uh, it's it's going to insert let's try to insert these uh, all the five employees again into our table so we have inserted that but uh, and let's look at the metadata so the metadata for this table is uh, we have only one table existing on a partition uh, now what we what we what we would want to see here is so this is uh, the metadata for the employee table now how do you see what are the file groups uh, which exist so we see, we can see that the non blobs are the inner data and there is also a blob data which uh, this employee table occupies row overflow uh, data uh, description is of the type when the when the size exists uh, when where the size goes beyond so it is also going to uh, occupy on the non block only when this uh, I would not go and explain the row overflow data here in detail uh, uh, but would refer you to a uh, you know to uh, go and consult M MSDN on this one the detail uh, so now what we see here is this table employee occupies uh, the two different file groups for us and uh, the only problem that you uh, will have is is during the index maintenance and also the and the backup and, and the restore uh, of the particular database when we try to rest restore it or, or, or take a backup when we have file groups segregated uh, tables it's much easier and efficient uh, while the indexing part also comes under a, a huge scrutiny when we are trying to use an approach which is of this type uh, so I hope this explains vertical partitioning in a nutshell for you or uh, to all of you. Thank you so much.